Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Bajarnik. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. In northern Turkey, an explosion inside a coal mine killed at least 40 people and wounded several others. Now rescuers are searching for survivors. There were 110 people in the mine at the time of the explosion. Dozens of people are still trapped in the rubble. And officials say a fire broke out after the blast. What sparked the explosion is still unclear. But the energy minister indicated there may have been a naturally occurring gas, possibly methane, in the mine. According to Iran's education minister, authorities have started sending protesting school students to psychological institutions. The punishment is for the latest attempt to crack down on protests that have continued across Iran for the past four weeks. So far, protesters have not been deterred by baton beatings or gunfire by police. Now they're sending school children to psychological institutions to be reformed and re-educated. But not only is Iran's government struggling to contain student protests, now some oil workers are striking as well, blocking roads and burning tires. The Russian government has announced plans to complete repairs to the Crimea Bridge by July 1st, 2023. The road and railroad bridge was badly damaged in an explosion last weekend, allegedly with a bomb concealed inside a truck. Three people died in the attack. Russia has blamed Ukraine's security forces for the attack. Some Ukrainians celebrated the bridge's destruction, but Ukraine has not claimed responsibility. The Crimea Bridge is the longest bridge in Europe and was a key supply route for Russian troops in Ukraine. In Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky laid a wreath at a memorial for the thousands of soldiers killed fighting Russia between 2014 and since the war started in February. The wreath was laid in honor of Day of Defenders of Ukraine, which was first celebrated in 2015. The ceremony took place in Kyiv 
in the presence of an honor guard and the sound of a surma horn. Zelensky also visited a military hospital to present awards to wounded soldiers. Thousands of people across Australia's southeast are being asked to evacuate their homes. Days of continuous rains have triggered flash flooding and fast moving waters have burst riverbanks. Images on social media show people wading through knee deep water with their pets and some people being rescued in boats. Officials say some areas have received a month's worth of rain in one week. Even though the rain eased late Thursday, flooding could continue through the weekend. In Panama, the number of migrants who continue crossing Panama, the perilous Darien jungle is increasing. So far this year, over 135,000 migrants have entered the border with Panama through Colombia. Authorities in Costa Rica are also trying to cope with the high number of Venezuelan migrants arriving daily on their way to the United States. And Guatemala is also reporting an increase in migrants in recent months, especially from Venezuela. But what's the cause of this continued migration to the north? Many of the migrants say living in their countries is unbearable. And they are willing to face the dangers of moving to find a better life for themselves and their children. French lawmakers are warning they might have to end the blockade on gas refineries as a worker strike enters its fourth week. Long lines at gas pumps have become common in France. Thirty-one percent of gas stations across the country are facing shortages, leading to rationing in some regions. Refinery workers are demanding a pay hike to cope with soaring inflation. And lawmakers want talks between the workers' union and energy companies to resume. The French prime minister blamed the long gas lines on panic buying, not supply problems. Cow burps and cow farts aren't just smelly. They are apparently contributing to climate change.
New Zealand is hoping to fight climate change with a proposal to tax farmers for their livestock emissions. The country has about 10 million cattle and 26 million sheep. When they pass gas and burp, they emit methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Farmers have raised concerns about the high cost of this plan. The government says the revenue raised will go back to farmers through technology, research, and incentive payments. The proposal is now in consultation. That will end in November. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV. Amazon, and Roku.